Here on the Advanced tab, you have an option to add a clearance around a void and contain areas. I'll cover this more in this section about contains and avoids. Also, I'll hold off on explaining the Z limits options as they are beyond the scope of this course. For now, I'll switch to the Posting tab. On the Posting tab, you may have several options that may be different than these here depending on what post processor you're using. To make changes here, just click on a box and you'll see a drop down list appear with the options you have to choose from. The options here under the Optimize tab can save you a lot of machine time on certain types of parts. Let me switch to another part to illustrate. Here I have a rough mill and a finish mill operation for these pockets. If I run a simulation of this part, you will see that the current toolpath is certainly not the most efficient way to machine these pockets. There is a lot of excess toolpath where the tool is not cutting any material. To improve this, I'll edit the definition of the rough mill operation and go to the Optimize tab. Under the Optimization method dropdown, when I switch to a grid pattern and do a preview, you can see that the toolpath appears much more efficient. The options I have selected right now are to start the toolpath with the feature in the upper left and do a horizontal zigzag. I can select vertical instead of horizontal. And if I select zig, you will see the toolpath returns back to the side before machining the next row. Here I can select which corner of the part I want to start machining first. Notice that the toolpath still starts in the top left of each pocket as it was defined on the roughing tab. The option I'm adjusting here determines which pocket will be done first. The bandwidth option tells Camworks a distance in which to look for additional features that are not parallel to features within the normal toolpath. You can see that these pockets are spaced one and a half inches in this direction and one and a quarter inches in this direction. If I enter a value of one and a third inch for the bandwidth, the pockets that are spaced one and a quarter inch fall within this range. When I press preview, you'll see the toolpath updates and goes to the pockets within the range and moves back to the normal toolpath. I also have the option to have Camworks calculate the shortest path. When I select this, you see that these options are now grayed out, and the only option I have is for the start point. Now when I run a simulation of the toolpath, you'll see it is much more efficient than what we started with.